Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Free Run episode 7. So Free Run, Stark and Fern have passed over to the next checkpoint. Uh, Free Run didn't get to stay as long as she wanted, but the other two got their way. Fern just, she gets a little bit um, antsy mm -hmm. staying in a, the same spot for too long. Yeah, she's got a sense of urgency. Yeah, and now I think Fern and Stark are going uh, to go get married somewhere. Nice. <laughs> the ship has sailed. The ship has sailed. It's early days, but I'm on board. Set sail. <laughs> yeah, I'm on board for sure. I don't really know what this next part of the story has in store. I don't know um, the plots or anything. The main plot is getting to Ende, but I'm excited for it. And I really like the way the three characters are getting along so far. Yeah, I, I think we're going to be stuck with these three. Yeah. Um, that will be our main characters on the path to Aurelius, Areola. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are interested in signing up to our Patreon, You'll gain three to four weeks of early access to our current shows, and you'll also find reactions that are exclusive to our Patreon. If you're interested, you can check out our link in the description below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Holding on to hope that it's all real there. Very interesting. Mm, she really went alive. Yeah, does she remember like a lot of the people that she knew ages ago? She must, yeah. This is so long. Or maybe just people who made like a really big impression on her life. Yeah. <gasps> Something's, Something's wrong. wrong. Yeah. It's <laughs> off. <laughs> Positive reinforcement. <laughs> I'm starting to think Fern's really cute. Yeah, Fern She's is a little cute. Cutie pie. Oh, <laughs> true. That's true. No, that's true. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she smiles about it because she kind of knows. Yeah. She wants to be close with him. She's more than capable of doing it her by herself. <laughs> no, he's hurt her feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not again. They got there was no progress at all. She's just reverted back to Mr. Stark now. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I was thinking about that because I'm like, they can live so long, isn't there like a an abundance of them? Mm. I agree with Every her. Yeah. So bloody everything. <laughs> Even the smallest of things, there's a festival. Yeah, why not? It's good to celebrate the small things and the big things. <laughs> That's enough for her. He's obsessed with the statues. They're bloody everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Say. How long can Fern live for? Or she's just. I I was just thinking that in the start. I think we've made an error. We can talk about it in the discussion. Oh yeah. So maybe she can just do magic, but she can't. Yeah, she's not an elf. Yeah, she's, she's just a, a mage. Okay. Oh, oh shit! In there. They're right there. What the heck? 
Oh, oh. she's ready to go. Raven has no chill. Oh, dang. You're going to regret that. Look at her face. <laughs> What's his true form? Yeah, she's just speaking with the facts, I suppose. You reckon he transforms? Of course he does. Yeah, she was kind of just saying that, wasn't she? I think it's like a Zarbon moment from um Dragon Ball. See how everything relates back to Dragon Ball. <laughs> Don't I'm, the I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, but yeah, no, I think for sure if it's a demon. Mm. Or the guillotine. Oh. Oh, right when Himmel died. Yeah. They they will not yeah. reason. You can't change a demon. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Stark, you're gonna have to destroy them. Yeah. It's just acting. Oh no. Still deception. Mm. That's why she didn't hesitate when she saw it. Yeah. They're all gonna get eaten. Yeah, okay. They're gonna learn the hard way. This is a stupid man. I might eat my words. I'll admit it if, if I'm wrong. This is like about... This is um, similar to the story about the snake and the master. There's a quite a bit of symbolism in the, in the series. What the hell? Deary me. <laughs> Just some interesting math. Yeah. It's not girl math, it's demon math. Everyone knows too much now. Yeah, she probably feels bad about not speaking up or actually doing something about it originally. I don't think she should. If she did, they'd look at her like a monster for not giving her another chance. I'm just saying, I, I think that's why she didn't hesitate like, as soon as she saw, saw one. She yeah. obviously already saw the appearance. She went to just take it down in the streets. Oh no. Okay. I don't think there's any chance, unfortunately. Oh, well, he's just screwed his town, unfortunately. Yeah, that was very selfish. Yeah. Is he going to take the appearance of one of the paintings? His son. He's trying to figure it out. Which one he is. Yeah. He's going to destroy him anyway. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Try and use that against the humans. Pretend they're different to animals just because they can speak. But you leave your sword too. I feel very easy and restful about this decision. She's dangerous. I saw her. She was firing up a Kamehameha before. Was she actually? She was firing see. something up. Yeah, she was ready to oh dear. let loose some sort of magic beam. Yeah. What about the other one who hasn't said a word? He's who you got to be worried about. Yeah, 
様の軍勢がこの町を滅ぼしてください
But I'd love to learn more. I know this is probably not like the most story driven show, like you've pointed out. It mainly focuses on the characters and their journey together. Yeah. But I would like to know more about the, is it seven of um, yeah. the Demon King's like main followers? Yeah. It, well, it actually, I might take back what I said. It does, it does actually seem pretty lore heavy. I just don't think it's the focus, but I, I do mm. think a sort of a big, vast world has been built around the characters. Yeah, I think the soul probably comes from the characters yeah. the most. Yeah. Freeran said something about that the last elf that she knows about was 400 years ago. I do think that at some point in this story, we will see another elf. Yeah. It'll be a really exciting moment. Yeah. We'll see the ears and we'll be like, oh, <laughs> it'll be like so cool. Yeah, for sure. I do think that will get revisited. Definitely. There was also talk of how Aura kind of emerged 28 years ago. Yeah. And that was coincidentally when... Himmel had just passed away. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but I think it's relevant. Maybe she was scared to emerge before his death. (laughs) I'm not sure, but we need to keep that in mind, maybe. Mm. Um, The date seems a little bit too coincidental. Yeah. I love how all of the little moments we get in this series it's like so packed with meaning Mm. and it's so relevant for future moments too at the start when she cleared the pathway it reminded me of that um saying give a man a fish feed him for a day teach a man to fish feed him for a lifetime sort of thing yeah and then later on we had the demons and stuff and their nature in contrast to the humans and it was like that story with the snake and the master, how the master's like, why'd you bite me? Yeah. Like, I fed you and everything. And he's mm-hmm. like, well, I'm a snake. So, yeah. like, I can act in a certain way, but it's my nature to do these things. And, yeah, I feel like so much thought has gone into the writing and it really shows in all of these stories. It's, like, so prevalent. Yeah, there's, like, a lesson to almost each episode um, based on folklore or symbolism or... Mm. Um, or stories and yeah, stuff like that. like famous old stories. Yeah. And then what happens is, like you said, there'll be a little moment at the start of each episode where it might seem like it's a meaningless mm. thing that we're watching. And then that kind of becomes relevant in the grand scheme of the episode yeah. later on. I feel like the story of the, like, clearing the pathway at the start relates to... It's like curing the disease. Don't cure one person, cure the disease. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. the problem in the bud. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't keep going on. There's no point. Like, yeah. I think Freyrun's seen too much, yeah. too much yeah. to waste her time just fixing, like, one small problem mm-hmm. when she could be fixing the entire issue. And I think that's why she said, I can actually defeat Aura, not just you. Yeah. So I think that's, like, a warning. Like, I'm going to... I'm going to destroy all of you sort of thing. It's going to be epic. <laughs> next challenge. Yeah, I think next episode is going to be pretty cool. We might... um, They might do small arcs like this. So in each mm. sort of town, they might not just spend one episode. It might just be a couple at a time. Yeah. And I find it interesting. The whole story's like meant to have taken place over so many years. But we've had seven episodes pretty much of not even one year. So it looks like... I don't know how long this journey is going to go, mm. um, but I find that pretty cool as well. I keep looking in the top right corner whenever yeah. it says... 27 years 20, since Himmel died. 28, I 28 think it is. 28 years. Yeah. yeah, it was 27. Now oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I just... <laughs> I look to see if it keeps increasing. Yeah. But not really. You just got to think how many journeys they would have gone on then originally for it to oh, yeah. have been a 10-year journey. We've already seen these characters in a lot of different pl- places, but it hasn't even been a year yet. Yeah, as well. True. I'm not sure what's planned in terms of like um how many years they want the story to span across. I think it would be interesting if they pack it all into just a few years, just to see how Freeran sort of um how we see her handle spending a shorter amount of time with someone, and whether or not that impacts her mm. a lot. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.